escalating density training or EDT, you'll see it called. This is a fantastic way to build cardiovascular fitness and a great prerequisite for starting higher intensity interval training because it challenges your technique with heavier weights while under a bit of cardiorespiratory strain. So to perform, set a clock for anywhere from five to 20 minutes, pick two to four exercises for your circuit, such as a squat, a pull-up, a bench press, something bigger, compound movements, and perform one to three reps at a moderately heavy weight for each, about 70 to 80% of your one rep max if you know your maxes, or usually what you would use for a heavy set of six to eight reps or so. Consistently move through the circuit with less than 20 seconds between exercises for the entire time. So for example, I set up a squat, a bench and a pull-up or a loaded pull-up. I go one rep squat, one rep bench, one rep pull-up, two reps, two reps, whatever it, whatever your rep range is, you just consistently move through that circuit the entire time. You can throttle your circuit up or down by simply hustling from drill to drill. So moving faster with a little bit lighter weights or adding a few reps to each set. So do three reps instead of one rep, a little bit lighter weights, et cetera, or increasing or decreasing the weight. If you go 80% of your one rep max, a little heavier weight, you're gonna move at a different pace. The key here is to stay moving the entire time and focus on good technique, even though your heart rate's high and the weight is a little bit heavier than what you're used to maybe. To add strength, use heavier weights. To add more cardio, use lighter weights and get more sets in. Lots of options here, but the key is to use heavier weights to get a cardiovascular effect.